Hello. What are you doing here? It's early. I have to do something with Instagram. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Post. Pin comment. Okay, pretend I was never here. I'm gonna go away. This is the pre-show, isn't this great? It's very avant-garde, BRB. Is it time? Yes. It's time. tonight. So if you see me looking in one direction or another, look, there's Don DeRoe. Hi, Don. Thanks. Oh, you haven't seen me with the pink hair. Thank you. Uh, there's Chris Mitchell. Hi, Chris. Hi, Janie. Uh, Jeffrey Smith is watching and Aaron Steele and Shar Izard, uh, John Falcon, Deborah Kilgore, Michael Ramsey. Uh, I'm not singing last night was made for love. <laughs> Pat Washburn says, don't trip on the chords. It's going to be like that scene in, uh, uh, in uh, Singing in the Rain. What are all these chords? Oh, Pierre. Ah! Okay. <laughs> anyway, 
So this is lockdown's greatest hits. Meaning, yeah, this is stuff that we really like. Some stuff that he suggested and I said no to and then I put it in and pretended it was my own idea. Um, Michael Ramsey, you need to shut your pie hole. I'm gonna do a song that you requested. <laughs> one, one song that you requested. I'm gonna do it soon. Um, so that song we just did is from uh, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever and I can't tell if William Perry Crosby is watching, but William P. Crosby, Bill Crosby, was my choir master and the organist at my first professional singing job at St. Matthew's Church in Wheeling, West Virginia. Professional choir, unbelievable human beings. I, I could talk about this for half an hour. Anyway, he's a friggin' genius, and I was lucky enough to get him to accompany me at some gigs that I did around the area when I was growing up. I don't even know, it was like, you know, the Ladies Auxiliary Music Society and all that stuff. So we used to do this song and Bill Crosby playing this song and yum, tam, tam, tam. And so after we, we did it at some show and the next Sunday when I walked into, or Thursday night when I walked into choir practice, he was at the piano. When I walked in, he played it like it was my entrance music, like I was a celebrity and it was my entrance music. I'll never forget that. So if I ever go on a talk show, when I, if they still do that on talk shows, play a song when somebody comes out, when they're walking over to the couch, that's, that's my song. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we had a request for some Beatles. That request came from my sister, Sue. And she actually requested this song, which is one of the few that we already have had in our repertoire for a million years. But I need a, I need a sip of my uh, cherry juice water. Hold on, it is cherry water. Mm. Okay, are you in the key already? Yeah. He's in the Kick it off, Wichita. Yeah. 
nail it. This is what it's like living with him. He cheers everything I do. It's wonderful. The downside is I have to cheer everything he does. Hey, I unloaded the dishwasher. It's evil. Do it. It's evil. Don't listen to him. He's crazy. Okay. Now it's time for Noel Coward because I feel like not enough people are doing Noel Coward in this pandemic. I don't know if Bill Zeff is watching. I forgot to, re to tell him that I'm doing some more Noel Coward tonight. We're doing one that we did before. I, this Noel Coward song was actually in my debut cabaret show, which opened on September 10th, 2001. September 10th, 2001. The opening night was great, folks. And then, you know. Um, so not a lot of people heard me sing this. So we're gonna do it. Uh, a boop dee ba, a boop dee ba. Life is what you make it, as someone once observed. A phrase that sounds a trifle thin. But whoever thought it out, it clearly never sorted out the vexing problem of Adam's spare rib. Let's face 
place it on my hoe bag. Howard. You know, every time I do this song or the Piccolo Marina one that we did last week, I love these songs so much and I think they're hilarious. But every time I do them, there's always somebody that comments, wow, that's a lot of words. <laughs> like, so you weren't listening. It's okay. So I'm going to sing something slow now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Charles Strauss. Oh. This is a song by Charles Strauss and Lee Adams. It was cut. It was cut from applause, and he ended up in a show called A Broadway Musical, which uh, I think it closed out of town. I could have looked it up before I came here to talk to you, but I chose not to. Um, anyway, it was written and rewritten and uh, done and redone, and um, this is the version that appeared on the infamous applause demo tape used to be the only way you could hear a recording of this song was if you were in the know, you knew someone who had a copy of the applause demo tape and it was Charles Strauss actually singing the song. I really wish I could fix this camera problem, but it ain't gonna happen, I'm sorry folks. Anyway, um, so um, these are the original lyrics. It was changed many, many times since then. I actually got to sing this song for Charles Strauss at his birthday party. This is a couple of years ago, right? A couple of years ago with Michael playing. And uh, that's where I got my autographed, you can't see it, but it's back there on the wall. It's autographed, over here. <laughs> autographed uh, the first page of this sheet music and it says to Marty, uh, what did he say? Beautiful and talented. Which is what we, I didn't tell him to say that. I so didn't. let's do this. <laughs>
you, Charles Strauss. What a beautiful song. And lyrics are kind of, I don't know, they mean something if you work in theater, I guess. I, I've always loved them. Maybe I love it so much because I've known it since I was a kid and I felt like I was so in the know when I finally heard it. Um, this next song is one of our Live from Lockdown classics. Um, this is uh, my personal parody lyrics to um, a jazz standard. It's a song about the type of guy who requests a pretentious song at a piano bar. Take it away. Harvard MBA took one class in poetry. <laughs> Bag at the bar, pocket change for tips, tink, tink, ice in Chateau Neuf de Pop, yes, a hole at the bar, just to be helpful, he's singing along and correcting each word that I miss. People who ask for this pretentious number are so self-impressed by the endless abstract list of nouns, vaguely Asian harmonies, douchebag at the bar. <laughs> you, sir, are that douchebag at the Um, this is another classic that I always come back to. We did it at our first concert, and I'm going to keep doing it because it's so relevant right now. It's from an off-Broadway show called When Pigs Fly, lyrics by Mark Waldrop, uh, music by the late, great uh, Dick, um, why did I just... Gallagher. Dick Gallagher. Hello, menopause brain. Um, relevant to today. Let's do it. Live at five and CNN keep us all abreast of breaking stories that can tend to make us anxious and depressed. Problems with no answers hang on like some nagging cough. And every day some brand new issue rears its head to piss you off. <sighs> Bad guys win. Optimism's wearing thin. Things are spinning out of control. Cynicism's all the fad. And world events could make us mad as hatters. Almost every day, some underpinning slips away. These aren't laughing matters.
song. Yay. Thanks, Mark and Dick, for that song. Um, thanks, Jay Rogers, for introducing it in the uh, original cast, on the original cast album. Great song. I, I have comments coming up on Instagram, and I can't see these after the live broadcast, so I kind of have to look. Hi, you guys. Oh, Dathan, yes. Dathan worked with Dick Gallagher, and um, I have never done Kiss Me, Dathan. Remind me. You've given me so many great songs over the year. Dathan Williams gave me my first copy of Unusual Way, and he said, I think this song is about you. And I was like, yes, it is. Um, so I trust him. Um, this, okay. He said, for which character was it written? And I don't know which post he's talking about. So, sorry guys. This is what I hate about doing the live thing, but it's, it's real. It's, it's nature red and tooth and claw. It's time for a commercial. Ladies and gentlemen, times are tough for a lot of us right now. If you're one of the lucky few who, can, who feels like tipping and you're enjoying what you're seeing tonight, my Venmo address is at marty-millet. My PayPal address is marty at gmail.com. It's not required. I'm doing this because I'm a nutbag who's going to go crazy if I don't perform on a regular basis. But if you feel like tipping and it's not a hardship on you, I ain't going to stop you either. Right. Thank you. The PayPal and Venmo addresses are also in Facebook. They're in the description of the video. In, on PayPal, on uh, uh, Instagram, they are in the pinned post on Instagram. The what? The pinned post. <laughs> um, this is why we have to wear masks. We're gonna do, oh, this is a song that everybody knows. Um, it's an arrangement that I originally heard performed by Mae Barnes on the four or six CD set, Erdogan's New York Cabaret Music. It's out of print now. If you can get your hands on it, it is life-changing for anyone who loves the Great American Songbook. But basically, it's time for a an up tempo. Oh, here we go. kind of great. If, if nothing else over these past 347 months of being in lockdown, we are, we are just running a tight ship here. Now that I said that, everything's going to fall apart. It's time for Sondheim. You know there's, you knew there was going to be Sondheim. This, oddly enough, might just be the theme song of 2020, and I never in a million years thought this song would be uh, relevant as in current events. Um, it's from Evening Primrose, you know it, you'll love it. Um, they tell me a lot of people are singing this. He tells me a lot of people are singing this. I, I, I watch some other 
people's shows, but I don't watch everyone's. I can't. Um, anyway. But you'll be watching mine tomorrow. Yes, we're going to be watching Michael's show tomorrow at 6 o'clock on his Facebook page and also on his Instagram feed at Michael Garen. Um, he plays the piano mostly. He sings a little. I'm the producer. I'm an offstage voice. Every once in a while, I sing a harmony from off camera. And she heckles. <laughs> and I heckle. Cause, like this. Because that's, hey, <laughs> that's what I do. Because that's what I do. Anyway, um, so this song, a lot of people are singing it right now. Michael's like, do you want to do it? Everybody's like, I said, eh. I've been doing this song longer than anyone else, even though it was in my childhood bedroom singing to my 32 pictures of John Cullum. So I'm going to keep singing this song uh, until I can't no more. Um, mm, 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 mm. for a real long time. Okay. Um, uh, I think we're, um, we got 10 minutes. No, I don't feel like doing that one. I just don't feel like doing it. Let's, <laughs> we're going to do You'll never know what it was. This you? one, well, I just don't want it to be like hot ballad on ballad action for the last 10 minutes of the show. There, there's enough. The three ballads in a row is enough. We don't need four. So, I have to look at some of these comments. Hi, Jackie. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Um, okay. 
I'm not going to scroll up. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer all of your Facebook comments after the show. And uh, I've seen most of the uh, Instagram comments. This song is for Michael Ramsey. You requested it a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't have room for it in the last uh, two shows. You're going to sing One Eyed Riley? <laughs> Um, more Sondheim. I mean, you know, why not? mom's favorite song too by the way and we just celebrated her well it would have been her 87th birthday last week last Thursday um we're gonna close with what we always close with I, I'm so thrilled that this song has become a regular for me and I'm so thrilled uh, that all of you are watching and listening um, it who would have thought that this terrible time would end up having one of my favorite things of my life in it. Doing these shows with Michael for you. Um, with no cover and no minimum, you guys. <laughs> and no sound system or any of that stuff. And um, it's been, um, it's great. And I'm going to keep doing it. We're not sure if we're, we're going to stay on Thursdays. We might have to change it because Michael may be changing his schedule. So. Watch this space. You know if I change, I'm going to spam the hell out of you. Uh, one more uh, slug of cherry juice before I switch to vodka. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, you guys, it works. Tart cherry juice in your water. Let's do it. Calling me 
Everybody, we love you. Thanks, Michael Guerin. Bye. I love him more than I love you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See Michael tomorrow. See me sometime next week. We'll figure it out. Bye. <laughs>